the relationship between a dog and a veteran is amazingly personal and very heartwarming as well. For me, the moment came when I was at Arlington National Cemetery. We were just taking some photos. Um, something occurred where I saw a veteran sitting alone on a bench and I, I knew that I was supposed to pay attention for whatever reason. As we were leaving the, the uh, cemetery, it was closing time and the groundskeeper was trying to hurry everybody out. I wanted to shuffle all the dogs and the photographers and uh, everybody and this in, in particular individual was still there alone uh, with his head down. I immediately turned around and ran back. There was no soul in him. His eyes looked through me as, as if I wasn't there. But this individual had performed uh, heroically in combat. It was uh, 12 years after his combat in Iraq and he had been wounded twice in the battle, but his friends didn't make it out. He was trying to come back and visit them. Uh, he was so despondent as to have demonstrated everything called a suicidal ideation. And I was so concerned about it that I was physically trying to check him for a weapon. I was able to convince him to come out and meet the dogs. I brought him to the dogs and he dropped to his knees and he embraced uh, a nine-month-old golden retriever by the name of Patsy. And Patsy intuitively knew what she was doing. And as he put a grip on her that most dogs would have squirmed out of, um, she just put her head up into his neck and on his shoulders. And a uh, outpouring of emotions, tears, pain, uh, for all the years that it had been there, it came out of him. And that dog absorbed it like a sponge. It didn't matter to her. She just knew. She just knew that he needed help. And where I couldn't reach him, she did. And after half an hour of this powerful scene unfolding, as all of us who witnessed it stood very reverently, we noticed that he'd come back. Where I'd not seen his spirit, his soul, he popped up wiped away the tears and, the, and his eyes and, and he, he looked me square in the eye and he said, I'm okay now. And I knew he meant it. I got to see his soul had returned and he was no longer despondent. He no longer felt like a failure. His problem was what many veterans has. He lived. He survived when his friends didn't. He felt like he was a failure because he couldn't make another step into the cemetery to visit their graves. His friends knew, his buddies knew that he had done it. He just needed somebody to approve of it. And it couldn't come from me. It couldn't come from any other human, but a nine month old golden retriever changed his life.